Welcome Arithmetic Ninjas to question 35. Now this is quite a tricky one because we've got mixed numbers with different denominators. So the first thing we need to do is make a common denominator. Now if you look at the 3 and the 7, you can't obviously double the 3 to make 7 because double 3 makes 6 so that doesn't work. So we basically need a common denominator that both 3 and 7 will divide into. Easiest way to do this, if you can't spot it, is just times the two numbers together. Multiplying the two denominators will always give you a common denominator. So 3 times 7 is 21. So we're going to make both of these into equivalent fractions out of 21. So let's see what we've got. To get from 3 to 21 is times 7. So you'd have to times the 2 by 7 as well. 2 times 7 is 14. So that's 14 21 Two thirds is the same as 14 21. So I'm just going to scribble out the two thirds. So from now on, we'll see it as 4 and 14 21. So 4 and 14 21 was the same as 4 and 2 thirds. With the 6 sevenths, to get from 7 to 21, that's times 3. So you need to times 6 by 3 as well. So that's 6 times 3, that's 18 21. So we've got 4 and 14 20 wumps take away 1 and 18 20 wumps. That 6 sevenths is 18 20 wumps, so we don't really need the 6 sevenths anymore because we're using 18 20 wumps. So we've got 4 and 14 20 wumps take away 1 and 18 20 wumps. Now, we're just going to treat this like a column method. Now remember about a whole one. So when it comes to a whole one, if you're dealing with fifths, that would be five fifths. A whole one is also four quarters. A whole one, a whole one is also three thirds. A whole one is also 21 20 once. A whole one is 15 15 A whole one is 19 19 A whole one is 91 90 once. So we've got to remember that about a whole one. So here we go. 14 20 once to subtract 18 20 once we can't do because 18 is bigger than 14 so you can't do it so you need to borrow from the next column so we borrow from the one and that becomes a three and the one we borrowed the one whole one that we borrowed would actually be 21 20 once so we're going to transfer the one we borrowed from this four over to the 14 20 once so you're going to add 21 21 so basically you're now dealing with 14 21 add 21 21 is 35 21 14 add 21 is 35 so we're dealing with 35 21 so we're dealing with 3 and 35 21 take away 1 and 18 21 now once you've got it as a column method with a bigger number on the top and common denominators, you can just do it like a normal common method. 35 take away 18 is 17. So 35 20 once take away 18 20 once is 17 20 once. And the final column is easy, it's just 3 take away 1, which is 2, two whole ones. So your final answer is 2 and 17 20 once.